What's going on everybody? Hit pause here with a quick tip on how to get around a kind of an issue that we have uh, with uh, FBX and UE4 sometimes. Uh, at least I've had it uh, where your mesh doesn't come in uh, oriented correctly. As you can see here, this mesh uh, should actually be roughly in his hands. It's, it's not going to be exact or anything, but it should be roughly in his hands and it's not even close. As you can see, the, the gun's way back here. Um, if you look at where this um, particular um, gizmo is right here, the, the pivot point. Uh, that is actually the location of the socket for it and that should align, that should put the gun, in f the handle in front of the socket and if you look at my 3D Studio file here you'll see that that's actually the case. Here's the root, here's the gun. This should actually put the gun in his hands but this is exactly what I exported and it's not in his hands, it's moved back. So what happened? Like why would this happen? Well the issue is, is that if I take this mesh and I actually disable the skin modifier, you'll see that the gun moves back here to where the trigger point is at the origin. And if we take a look here, that's pretty much exactly where it is on the gun. You can see the outline of the weapon here, so you can see where the trigger is. And you can see that it's right there, which pretty much exactly aligns up right here. So how do I fix that and why did this happen? Well this happened because what I had done originally was skinned the weapon in this position here then moved the bones to get things over here. Now I believe there's a way to say hey use the T0 pose or something like that but the real fix is actually to basically reapply the skin modifier which you might think oh god now I gotta skin weight my whole thing but that's actually not really the case um, what you wanna do is you wanna select your mesh go to your skin modifier this is 3D Studio Max only I don't know how to do this in Maya um, and then just save here under the advanced parameters hit save and name it so I named this MP40 skin weight so I'll just overwrite that Yes. Now, what I want to do is I don't want to delete this because that will move the mesh back. I want to capture this mesh in this position. So the best way to do that would be to collapse it to an editable polygon. Okay. So now we re-add the skin modifier. Okay. And we add the bones. Just click there. I the reason I can only I only have to click here is because I have um, select children somewhere on select children right there okay so I just have to click the root and say select and I'll bring them all in and now I just hit load double click that match by name and let's just make sure anim latch mag stock trigger everything looks good we hit OK now I'm gonna re-export this and we come back here and I'm gonna re-import and you can see that that automatically put the weapon right in his hand. Okay. Obviously, this is the wrong animation for this weapon, but and and it's not perfectly lined up because it's like I said, it's not the MP40 animation. This is actually his pistol animation, but you can still see that it did fix it. It put the gun in the correct position. So, if I were to take this, let's say I have my base of my weapon, which is right here the, which is the you know so I can animate my weapon I, I have this extra bone so I can animate it right let's say I move this and export it well it's not gonna be exported there it's in fact gonna be exported here okay uh, like I said I think that T0 pose thing fixes the whole thing um, but I found that that can kinda confuse things and so I just tend to fix it by just collapsing this down um, to where it's you know in, in its correct location and then reapply the skin modifier. And like I said, the fastest way to do that is just to save the skin weights and reload them again. And you'll see that it, it came back in. There's the trigger is fine. This piece right here is fine. The magazine is all skinned correctly the way I had it. So uh, for a character it's a little bit more annoying. Um, but like I said, as long as you save the skin weights, you should be fine. So that's it. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys if you're running into an issue where nothing's lining up and you don't understand why. Just come to your um, skeletal mesh and disable the skin modifier by turning off the light bulb and see if it moves. If it doesn't move, this is not your problem. You have a different problem. Uh, but if it does move, go ahead and run through these steps and you should be fine. So hit pause, sign it off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.